I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to day 11 of 21 days of 21 warfare scriptures to violently disorganize the enemies. And this morning we are starting the broadcast by singing him to the glory of God Almighty. And the hymn is, O oh Lord my God, when are in awesome wonder. O oh Lord my God, when are in awesome wonder, consider the works that I have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy patrua, the universe display. Then sinked my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art, how great thou art. When through the wood, down forest blaze I wander and hear the voices sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God is son of spirit, sent him to die, I scare can take it in. That on the cross, my body's gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall call, we shout of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God, how great. 
Father. Father, this morning we reference you as our light and our savior, our salvation. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are here this morning with our dirty garment as sinners, oh God. By your mercy, Father, wash away all our sins in Jesus' name. Create in us a new heart and give us a new spirit to obey and to walk in your ways. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every contrary spirit. We come against every plan, every agenda of the wicked. We destroy them now by the authority in your word in the name of Jesus. Father, the Bible says, they shall surely gather, but not by you. That whosoever shall gather together against us, for our sake they shall fall. Father, by your word this morning, let every such dangle, let every gathering that are not of the Lord, for our sake, O Lord, let them fall in the name of Jesus. Let gang up against our glories, gang up against this service, gang up against our families. Father, by your power, let them fall in the name of Jesus. Cover every soul this morning with the blood of Jesus. We cover today's broadcast with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, we are empty before you, Lord. Fill us afresh in the name of Jesus. We know nothing, O Lord. Father, teach us your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Lord, I release myself unto you, O Lord. Bring me down, and mold me, Lord, and fill me afresh with Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, we come against every plans of the wicked to make me to speak of my own. Every plans of the wicked to make me, Lord, to speak with the principles of man. He shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lift up your voice and worship God this morning. Pick up a song of worship or a song of praise just to lift up his name. Oh, on the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you, I lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, 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 as we sing, holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. May the Lord God Almighty appear to every home here this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to day 11 of 21 days of 21 warfare scriptures to violently disorganize the enemies. And remember, today is Tuesday, a time and a season to pray for the families. I want you to open your Bible, beloved, to Revelation chapter 21, verses 4 and 5. Revelation chapter 21, from verses 4 and 5. The Bible says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. In the name of Jesus, 
all these things that the Bible calls the former things, they have passed away in your life in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more death in your family. There shall be no more crying, no more sorrow, no more pain in the name of Jesus. Verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. I decree by the word of the living God that everything about your home shall become new. In the name of Jesus, your marriage shall be new. Your children shall be new. Your going out and your coming in, everything about you shall become new. In the name of Jesus. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. I pray that the word of God that has been spoken to your life today shall remain faithful and true forever in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth this morning and pray for your family. Say, I decree upon my family. Because I don't joke when it comes to prayers for the family. Don't joke. There are some power somewhere that wants you to cry. There are some people that anyway, whenever you are laughing, they are not happy. There are some people that their mission is to make sure that your home is not in peace. I want you to address those powers and those personalities this morning. As long as not God of heaven lives, his word will never return back to you empty. And the promise in Revelation 21, verses 4 and 5, they are for you. The Bible says, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. I want you to decree upon your family. Say, I decree upon my family, according to the word of God, God shall wipe away all tears in my family. I decree, oh God, my father, wipe away all tears in my family. Oh, put your hands and pray. Oh Lord God, my father, wipe away all tears in my family. Wipe them away, all tears, all bitter tears, all sorrowful tears in our families. Oh Lord, wipe them away. Oh Lord, wipe them away. All the tears in your family, all the bitter tears, all the sorrowful tears. The Lord will appear and wipe them away. The Lord will wipe them away by His authority and by His power. Today, all your tears are wiped away. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, my father, I decree there shall be no more death in my family. Oh, Lord God, my father, by your word, I decree there shall be no more death in my family. No more family death. No more family death in our families. In the name of Jesus, whosoever wants you to die, whosoever wants your children to die, they shall die in our place. They shall die in our place. They shall die in our place. No more death. No more death by the word of God. No more death. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, I decree by the mandate of heaven. There shall be no more sorrow in my family. I prophesy upon my family and upon all the families that are here this morning. There shall be no more sorrow. 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 You will not leave your days in sorrow. Your family shall not be sorrowful. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. The Bible says, and no more crying. You will lift up your voice again. Say, my father, my father, let there be no more crying in my family. No more crying, no more crying, no more crying in our homes, in our families, as individuals. No more crying, no more crying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The last one that the Bible says, say, let there be no more things. There are things that can be that can cause people things. Tragedy can bring things. Accident can bring things. Terrifying dreams can bring things. Lost of good things can bring things. Do we pray like this? Oh Lord God, my Father, by your word, end every pain in my family. Oh Lord God, my Father, by your word, end every pain in my family. My Father, my Father, my Father, by your word this morning, end every pain in my family. End every pain in my family. End every pain in my family. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I decree upon your families right now that any power that wants you and your family to suffer, such power shall die in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere, any spirit anywhere. Now I want you and your family to beg for bread. I bury those powers now in the name of Jesus. I bury them now. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Weapons of the enemies, fire to cause tragedy, fire to cause accident, fire to cause untimely death in your family, shall fail and backfire, shall fail and backfire, shall fail and backfire, shall fail and backfire, shall fail and backfire. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name.
day 11. The weapon that the Lord is giving us today is Isaiah chapter 8, verses 9 and 10. That's the weapon that the Lord has given us today, Isaiah chapter 8, verses 9 and 10. That's for day 11. The Bible says, let's read it, try to have understanding. Associate yourselves, all ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye of far countries. Give yourselves together, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Verse 10. Take counsel together, and it shall come to know. Speak the word, it shall not stand, for God is with us. This scripture is very powerful. It talks about one thing three times. About breaking in pieces. Associate ourselves, all ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Underline it. Broken in pieces. Today, all the evil associations against you, the Lord will break them to pieces. Let's read again. And give ear, all ye of our countries. Give yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Number two, underline it. Ye shall be broken in pieces. I decree that authorities from far places, evil associations from far places, wherever they are under the sun, the Lord will break them to pieces in the name of Jesus. Bible says, give yourselves and ye shall be broken in pieces the third time. I will decree that every evil nature, every evil agreement, every evil conspiracy, and every evil counsel taken against you, the Lord will break them to pieces. Whosoever is ganging up against you, ganging people around themselves to fight you, the Lord will bring them to pieces. Your also wickedness, the Lord will bring them to pieces. Unfriendly friends, the Lord will bring them to pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look at Matthew 21, verse 24. I want you to be very, very scriptural this morning. So I have understanding when the Lord says he will break some things to pieces. God is in the business of fulfilling whatever he says. When God says, I will destroy, he will utterly and surely destroy. And when God says, I will rescue, he will surely rescue. Today, God says, he will break the enemies to pieces. I don't want you to be afraid. Oh God, by says, God, you have spoken concerning your word in Isaiah chapter 8, verses 9 and 10. That they should associate themselves together, that you will break them to pieces. Therefore, any power or people that are coming together just to slander you, to pass evil words at you, or to cause you or to do you harm, remind you about Jesus and Lord, by the weapon that you have given me in Isaiah chapter 8, verses 10 and 10, let them be broken to pieces. And you will see God breaking them to pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. In Matthew 21, verse 44, you will see the power of God to break your enemies to pieces. If only you can go by his words. Matthew 21, 44, the Bible says, And whosoever shall fall on this stone, the rock of ages, shall be broken. Whosoever shall fall on this rock shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind into powder. So when the Lord is falling on your enemies, your enemies shall be reduced to powder. I decree by the power in this world that the Lord God Almighty will appear in the camp of those conspirators and the Lord will grind them to powder. The fire of God will burn them to ashes. Son of God, rock of ages, we grant them to powder. We grant them to powder. We grant your enemies to powder. Every unrepentant enemies in your life and their evil associates today, Holy Ghost, locate them right now and reduce them to pieces in the name of Jesus. What are those things that the Lord will break in pieces? Then before we talk about those things, I want you to open your Bible again to go somewhere. Chapter 5, from verse 1 to 4. You will see how the power of God broke one idol to pieces. That power of God will come upon you today 
and anything in and around you that needs to be reduced to pieces, the power of God will reduce them to pieces in the name of Jesus. For Samuel chapter 5, from verse 1 to 4. First Samuel chapter 5, from verse 1 to 4. I want you to get yourself ready because you are going to use your mouth to decree and you will see the mighty enemies that have been following you, you will see them being reduced to nothing by the authority in the word of God. Let's read. First Samuel chapter 5, verses 1 to 4. The Bible says, And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon. In short, they brought the ark of God into the house of their own idol. Beloved, whosoever will bring your name into the house of idols, you will see what will happen today. Therefore, anywhere they call your name, if that place is a diabolical place, the priest that is ministering there and their evil associates, they shall be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. I want you to get some things right this morning. Your name carries authority and fire. Even your presence alone, enemies cannot mess with your presence. Talk less of your name in your absence. They carried, and they took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon, and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashod arose early on the morning, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. Not, nobody touched Dagon. But the power of God came down and brought Dagon to face down. They have not finished. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. When they came, they saw Dagon falling off. And they took Dagon and put Dagon back. So, you know, maybe mistake. They put Dagon back. The gods of your enemies will keep falling over and over again because of you in the name of Jesus. The enemies that are chanting incantations against you from today, they will fall in their thousands in the mighty name of Jesus. And when they arose early on the morrow, on the morrow morning, behold, that God was falling upon his face to the ground before the heart of the Lord second time. But this second time, something happened. And the head of Dagon and both the palms of hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the storm of Dagon was left to him. I pray that wherever they will call your name or they will summon your name for him, the head of that idol will be cut off. The hands of the idols shall be broken to pieces. And whosoever is invoking the idol shall lose his or her life in the name of Jesus. Then what are those things that will be broken to pieces? Number one, village idols. I don't want you to be afraid. Beloved, you are sons and daughters of the most high God, created in the image of God. You carry authority and power. You carry light. You are not supposed to be afraid of darkness. So anytime you appear, whether in person or in spirit or anywhere your name is being mentioned or they take any of your properties to do you harm, Confusion and catastrophe must bombard the enemies there. Because you are not to be talked to. You are the ark of the covenant God. You are the ark of God. God lives in you. The power of God is in and around you. So what are those things that will be broken to this? Number one, village idols. Number two, village altars. Many of you are always afraid. Oh, there's one idol in my village. Ah, ah, if I eat that idol swear for you, that thing will catch you. It's a lie. Darkness cannot overpower light. It is light that will overpower darkness. Number three, T junction shine. There are some areas that the road is T in shape, and they always use that place to offer dangerous sacrifices. Today, any T junction in your father's house. T junction in your mother's house that they have used to invoke evil spirit into your life, that T junction will catch fire and the evil spirit will go back to sender in the name of Jesus. Next, satanic and evil monitoring mirrors will be broken to pieces. Ungodly associations around you, those that are in your life, but they are not friendly 
they just pretend to be friendly, they shall be broken to pieces. Who or what are those things that will be broken to pieces? Evil and satanic covenant. Maybe in the time past, when you were desperately looking for something, you have gone to diabolical places and you have made ungodly sacrifices and ungodly covenant. Today, those sacrifices and covenants have been broken in pieces. Next, evil soul ties with familiar spirits and foundational idols shall be broken in pieces. Next, satanic strongholds shall be broken in pieces. Next, satanic weapons shall be broken in pieces. And lastly, satanic stronghouse or the prison shall be broken in pieces. Beloved, today is a day to raise your voice with boiling anger so that all the chains of darkness, so that all the ropes, so that all the barriers of darkness that the enemies are using to keep you one place, by the time you raise your voice up like thunder, they shall not be broken in pieces in the name of Jesus. They just appreciate God for the power to break your enemies in pieces. So, Father, I appreciate you for your power to break in pieces in full associations around me. I appreciate you for your power to dismantle every network of evil people around me. I thank you for your power to pull down every walls and every barricades of the enemies around me. Blessed be your name. Accept my thanks in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, ignite your fresh fire of revival in my life. Oh Lord God, beloved, you need the fresh fire to pray a fresh prayer to invite the uncommon presence of the host of heaven to break the enemies to pieces. We need fresh fire. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, ignite your fresh fire in my life. Ignite your fresh fire in my life. Oh Lord God, my Father, ignite your fresh fire. Ignite your fresh fire in my life. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, rock of ages, locate the strong man in my Father's house and reduce him to pieces. Rock of Hades, locate the strong man in my father's house and reduce him to pieces. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my father, locate the strong man in my father's house, the strong man in my mother's house, the strong man in my in-law's house. Oh Lord, locate them, oh Lord, and reduce them to pieces. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord God, my father, locate the strong man in my father's house, the strong man in my mother's house, the strong man in my in-law's house, and reduce them to pieces. And reduce them to pieces. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You will now pray these following prayers. Say, Rock of Ages. I don't know what you want God to do to pieces. I don't know what you want God to break in pieces in your family. I don't know what you want God to grant to powder. That it will depend on what you are asking God. If you are asking the Lord, let my enemy become rock. God will allow what He will give you the desire of your heart. If I were you this morning, I would pray, even for my unborn generation, that whatsoever the enemies will have as plans for my unborn generation from now till eternity, Father, appear, break those evil plans to pieces. If I were you, I would pray again. That will not my father. All the satanic wars and satanic cages that the enemies are using to stop my life, Father, break them to pieces. If I were you, I will pray again that those people that are in my life, that they have come themselves to become strong walls, Father, break them to pieces. If I were you, I will pray that those people that are in my life, that are saying that if I don't bow down before them, I will not be forced. Say, Father, break them to pieces. Open your mouth and shout like this. Say, rock of ages, fall upon. I will break my enemies to pieces. Then you start listing those enemies. You have a few minutes now. You start listing those enemies. You say, Lord, oh God, arise. I will break my enemies to pieces. You now start listing those things. Poverty, sickness, infirmities, pregnancy, all of them to pieces. People chase, break them. Are you ready? Say, oh God, my father, arise. Break my enemies to pieces. In the name of Jesus, in family in my life, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces. Every evil change of stagnancy in my life, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces. Every cage of the devil in my life, in my family, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces. Every idols in my father's house, every idols in my mother's house, in the name of Jesus, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces. Every curses, he should go stagnate my life. Every curses. This is to affect my 
angels to break them in pieces. The enemies have been broken in pieces in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, it is done. Remember, beloved, that you and I are sons and daughters of the Most High God, created in the image of God, to have dominion over what the Lord God created. Don't let anyone born of a woman, don't let any spirit of power to pull you down. You are the sons and daughters of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are to war against the enemies with your prayers, with your voice, and your personality. Remember, we have our videos on YouTube, Reality Christian Center channel. We have the videos as well on our website, www.thepartofrighteousness.com. And every day we meet on this platform from 9 a.m. in the morning for the hour of prayer. Tomorrow is day 12 of 21 days of 21 warfare scriptures to violently disorganize the enemies. Also, tomorrow is another time and season to pray for our children. Beloved, please don't miss any of these broadcasts. And if this broadcast, if today, if this broadcast is blessing to you, don't keep this thing to yourself. Share the good news. Let others that are out there, let them know that there is power in the word of God to break their tormentors to pieces. Let them know that there is power in this Isaiah chapter 8, verses 9 and 10, to reduce their oppressors to nothing. God did it when the oppressors of his children, Pharaoh and the Egyptians, when they were troubling the children of God, God reduced them to nothing. Let someone to share this good news and let someone to benefit from it. As you have listened, share the good news. And tell the server you're sharing with, tell them you should not keep it, you should share it. 
Church, you will depopulate the kingdom of darkness and we populate the kingdom of God. Jesus is coming soon. He is coming to take hold those who are living in righteousness. So we meet tomorrow. Remain blessed and keep praying. Lord, break my adversaries. Break every barriers. Break every limitations. Break every problems to pieces. They will gather together. Let me say, give here all your far countries. Give yourself together. These have been broken in pieces. Remind God, say, Lord, wherever they are, whether near or far, break them to pieces. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's say the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall bring the house of the Lord. Wherever and ever, amen. Let's shout seven powerful hallelujah to you. The glory of God most high. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you and have a pleasant day. Bye.